Hello everybody, welcome to Wedding Wednesday Live here at Amp DJ Services um, on Facebook.com. We do this every Wednesday at 12.15 p.m. Thank you so much for joining us this week. And here we talk about wedding topics. And this week we're going to be talking about something that's kind of unique here and how uniqueness is key for your wedding. Uh, make it you know personal, make it something different, make it all uh, fun and energetic and all that stuff too. What I mean by that is these glasses here for instance, right? We got the groom glasses going on. I did these for my wedding. My wife were obviously the bride. Uh, bridesmaids and groomsmen also came with it too. Something that makes it for really cool and unique pictures. Um, we also have uh, guest request RSVPs. Something to think about too is putting your, um, you know, having your guest request songs on their RSVP card. Really nice to do that. Um, they can go on from the comfort of their own home through the Amp DJ Services login website and um, actually you know, put in the songs they like and they'll be able to put their names in so we know that it's not coming from you, the bride and groom. Uh, first dance surprise is also a lot of fun if you have the time before the wedding and you feel that you uh, have that dancing capability. You could also do that as well. Something that's really cool with that is, uh, you know, us as DJs will be able to put the put the music together for you of your choice. Um, you know, as many songs as you would like. I would say keep it to four minutes, um, so maybe seven to ten songs at the most. But we can mix that for you as well, and you guys can practice it before the before the wedding day to make sure that you have that down. Uh, we actually have one coming up here from a friend of mine that's going to be doing her father-daughter dance as a choreographed dance. So um, that's going to be really cool too. Um, so if you have somebody that sings um, in your guest list, you could always have them sing for their first dance or the ceremony too. That's always a very unique touch. And then uh, something else here is a freeze frame. What I mean by that is uh, it consists of basically you and your fiancé, uh, husband, wife, walking around, uh, starting at table one and then going to table two, three, four, and we do this all in one song, okay? Instead of doing a 45 minutes or an hour out of your wedding, it takes about three and a half minutes. Everybody's gonna have a great time doing it. There's gonna be a lot of smiling going on and they're going to just love it. And they're gonna be talking about it for years to come. I did this at my wedding a few years back and uh, my wife and I, we still hear it from our guests about how much they loved uh, doing the freeze frame dance. Something else that we did for our wedding is actually this jersey right here. So for the jersey, you can see that uh, you know we had our wedding date of August 9th, 2014. We got this custom made with the last name Murphy, because it is our last name, of course. And then we had the guest just sign next to it. Something to keep in mind, too, you want to put a piece of clear packing tape so nobody writes on your last name if you're going to do that. Um, I also uh, recommended it to another couple a few days ago for the Cubs. They were all decked out in Cubs gear. Um, so you can do that as well for any jersey, really. So just something to think about there. You do your wedding day just like we did. It's very cool. And, um, you know, your guests are going to absolutely love it. And they're going to be talking about it for years to come. We also have the table numbers for pictures. Um, I'm sorry, the table numbers for your age of, uh, you know, the bride and groom, obviously. So table one, obviously, would have, uh, you know, the bride and groom at age one. Table two, age, uh, age two, you know, table three, and so on, um, until, you know, that's, it makes it really cool, it makes it a conversation piece for your guests, and how cute you and your husband or wife look the day of, um, as well as in those pictures. We also have the anniversary dance, which is something that's really cool and unique as well. Um, it consists of uh, basically calling up all the married couples onto the dance floor, even the ones that have only been married for three hours, four hours, you know, whatever the case is. That's you guys, the bride and groom, of course. Um, but uh, we want to make sure you're out there the whole time. So what we do is we say the DJ will go on and say, you know what, um, you know, if you've been married less than five years, please leave the dance floor at this time. Or if you've been married less than three hours, please leave the dance floor. Again, I'm just kidding on that. We want to make sure you're out there the whole time and we want to get a really good picture for the last couple standing. And it's really cool too because the last two couples, they kind of have that, uh, you know, they kind of look at each other those last couple minutes there and, uh, you know, see who's been married the longest. The longest I've seen is actually 65 years old or 65 years married, which was just incredible to me. And my grandparents actually just celebrated 67 years. So awesome for you guys as well. Um, we can also do the candy bars as place cards. So that's something to think about also. That's really cool and unique. So what I mean by that is uh, we work with a company, That's a Wrap Creations, with the deck, which is actually a family-owned company. Um, you know, one of my family members owns it. And uh, they make custom candy bar wrappers, and they can do that with your name, match your wedding colors, match your design, and all that too for your invitations, for instance. And um, you know, basically, your guests will be able to find out where they're sitting and be able to take a candy bar wrapper or candy bar with them the rest of the night. And sometimes it doesn't make it even to the table. Um, but uh, something to think about there too. Very unique again, and you know, just those little things that make the difference. So just remember that. Um, something else we did here. I want to show you on my iPad was the uh, we uplight trees too. So if you're having an outdoor wedding and you want to do something super unique and make that enchanted forest look, here's a way to do that. 
And if you can see there, that's what that looks like. So that's something that's really cool that you can definitely do um, and have the DJ do. And we actually made this made these fade. So um, the, the colors were fading throughout the whole night um, at different rates. So it was awesome. It was really cool. It looked great. And the guests were just talking about how much they loved it. Um, something else you can do too if you're having that outdoor wedding. Um, something we did at my wedding was I actually flew a drone. I bought a drone for it and I flew a drone for some pictures and that kind of thing. So we had some taking some pictures, some aerial shots. So that's something else, again, that makes it kind of unique. Um, you know, at the time, drones were not very popular. So, um, you know, when somebody saw it, they were like, wow, that's really cool. And so the last thing I wanted to show you here was monograms with your initials or names written in light. And that looks something just like this. So you can see up at the top there, Richard and Jennifer, um, you know, we did this for them. It was a custom logo that they made. It looked great for their first dances as well. So that's, uh, that's something that we can definitely do for you too. And uh, other companies too. So just think about those things. Again, thank you for joining me on Wedding Wednesday Live. Again, we do this every Wednesday, every week, 12, 15 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope to see you again next week. Thank you so much for joining us. And don't forget to visit AmpDJServices.com and we'll see you soon.